Hello everyone, welcome back and I am so happy you're here for a very special unboxing video. Tonight I am going to be unboxing uh, Paradise Fibers Fiber Subscription Box um, for the month of February and I will also be unboxing the package from um, knit spin. It's been with the captain of the team I was on for the spin together spinning competition that I was part of last week. And I always try to buy fiber from the captain of the spin together spinning competition when I participate in it just to show the support. Um, the first package we're going to unwrap is from Knit Spin. I'm really excited about this one because it is, is a blend of cashmere and merino, and I've never spun with that blend before. But also, I'm excited because as I love the colors, and I hope you do too. So one of the things I ordered was as an ounce of Stellina. As Stellina is a fiber that you mix in with art bats and as you know I love making art bats. Stellina is similar to Angelina. Uh, you blend a tiny bit of it into the art bats and a little bit goes a long way. It's thinner than Angelina is though. I'll just pull out just a little bit so you can see how it looks but just but isn't that sparkly? Yeah, and that is going to be gorgeous in the art bats. The next thing in here is the, the fiber that I ordered and isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Don't you love the colors? Colors, I love that. And, and it looks like it's got. And it looks like like there's more blue in it than I thought. In the picture, it looked. Uh, these areas, in the picture, these areas here looked gray, and I am totally fine with the fact that it looks looks more blue in real life because my favorite colors are pink blue and purple. Here is the information for Knit Spin. Now as I mentioned before, Knit Spin was the captain of the spinning competition that I did last week. And during that spinning competition, I was able to spin three skeins of yarn. This came from the Rolex from Wild Wool Farms. This came from One Thursday, and this one was spun from the Art Bat from Calibri Studios in Worcester, Ohio. Oh, now what I did with this one is I is I spun a single of this one, and I plied it to a single that I spun that was on out of the Art Bat, and so these two look similar because they are similar. I was really excited that I was able to put the art bat and um, this comb top together to make gorgeous yarn. Next up we have the package from Paradise Fibers. It's always really fun because I get to spin with fibers that I wouldn't have thought to put together myself. For example, this yarn was spun from a Paradise Fibers uh, package and also all of this yarn was spun from various Paradise Fibers packages. This yarn was one of my favorite yarns to spin and I, and I loved how it turned out. Oh, 
the theme for this um, Paradise Fibers box was mermaid I'd, and I really liked how it turned out. Unfortunately, I don't have my favorite yarn urn anymore because I sold it on my Etsy store, but that one was super colorful. It came from their February box in 2020. So I don't know what's in here. Normally it comes with six to eight ounces of fiber and a sticker and some information about the fiber. So, um, so I'm excited to see what's inside. One thing I'm not sure if I mentioned is it has been four years since my first Paradise Fibers unboxing video. So this one is pretty special. Ooh. Now it looks like this is a Valentine's Day themed box, which would make sense with all the hearts. Ooh. And it looks like the fiber so far, it looks like the fiber is going to be all um, natural, all colored wool, but that's okay. If you remember, I've been working on a breed study project, so this could be, so this could very easily be part of that. And here's a little bit of fiber. I'm not sure what type of fiber that is. come with the sticker. I'll have to add it to my Paradise Fibers sticker collection. And raspberry hibiscus tea. And it also comes with a Stitch marker. That's cute. Very cute. So this is where I keep my collection of stickers from Paradise Fibers and other places. And this one is gonna go well right here with the other Valentine's Day sticker that I put on here. Okay, so I was right. It, this does come with a lot of different and natural fibers in it. So, it So, this is a very cool this is a very cool one to go with okay so let me read to you what's in here it looks like they all came in different colored bags the red bag here has a blend that is called brown butter blondie and it has a blend of of Falkland Merino baby camel llama and airy silk that is a blend i would not have picked for my, myself but that is totally okay i often get things in here that i wouldn't even think to that i wouldn't even think to do and i end up loving them here's a little sample of uh 
Kashgora fiber. I'm not sure what Kashgora is, but I'm excited to find out. And here is a sample of Opal Opalence. Um, and that is 50% white cashmere and 50% mulberry silk. It's very, very white and has a nice shine to it. The next two ounce bag is called Chocolate Kiss. It is, it's this one. It is 40% UK alpaca, 30% uh, blue faced luster, and 30% Paul Worth. So that's going to be a really, really soft blend. So that'll be really fun to spin. I love spinning alpaca. The maroon bag egg is called caramel kiss it's one ounce of fiber that is 50 percent super fine merino and 50 percent baby camel and that is ridiculously soft oh my gosh just look at that I wish I could just reach out through the camera and brush your face with it because it is so ridiculously soft. Like it might even be softer than alpaca. And I didn't think anything was softer than alpaca. And then finally in the bright pink bag it's called Lamalicious, and this blend is 50% Polworth, 30% Llama, and 20% Tussa Silk. So again, that's going to be really soft. And it seems like they picked fibers for this month that were going to be extremely soft. So I would love to know their idea for, oh. I would love to know what their idea for a project would be. So it looks like the project idea is as a scarf. A, a scarf perhaps or a table runner uh, um, they have pictures here of it being woven unfortunately I'm not a weaver but I can still make a super soft scarf I really hope you have enjoyed this unboxing video if you want to see more Paradise Fibers unboxing videos I will leave a playlist up here so you can see more Paradise Vipers unboxing videos that I have done in the past and get a taste of what they're like. Or if you want your own Fiber subscription box, uh, you can check out my affiliate link in the description below this video. Take care and I hope you have a great night. Bye!